Ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas to you all. What is going on, YouTube world? This is KRT Live, KRT Live with the Y. And if you're a procrastinator, like some people that we know, or maybe like us, we have some last minute gifts, ideas for campers. Or anybody. Or anybody who, well, mostly for campers or somebody who likes to be outdoors, I guess. Coming up right now. So it's coming down to the um, holiday season. Left. Huh? Two weeks left. Yes, two weeks left, I guess, before you can buy the gifts that you need to buy for your loved ones or whoever you want to buy for for, for Christmas. And uh, we have a couple of gifts ideals since we are new to camping. We have gift ideals that we think that that camper person in your life might sincerely appreciate. Yes. So we started camping in beginning of October and we went hardcore, straight up full seven days. So we tested out quite a few things. We changed mm -hmm. things around. We decided things that we like and we don't like or what we want to change. So we picked what, five? Five items. Items that we think you must have and they definitely bring a lot of value to your camping trip or just being out for a day out in the woods or something. And uh, so, yeah, we can go ahead and get started. Yes. So we are going to start with work gloves. And these work gloves right here in particular are specifically winter work gloves. And these yes. things are awesome. The price is $9.99 on sale at Home Depot. That's where I got these. And I was like, I've had this style of work glove before. Uh, not really winterized like this, but I just wore these two weeks ago and 20 degree weather when I was cutting logs and stuff like that. And these things really exceeded my expectations, especially for a $10 glove. Yeah, and I have another pair, slightly different brand, the same idea, same style. Uh, and I actually cooked in these and I moved the logs and stuff. They're not meant for heat, but if you shift in something pretty quick, it's actually very good. That definitely keeps your hands nice and toasty. And because we known for our hands, uh, getting cold really fast. They are perfect if you are trying to go camping and uh, yes. great gloves. Must I've, have. I've had $50 snowboarding gloves that didn't perform as good as these. <laughs> so these are awesome, especially for $10. And moving on, the next thing on our list is what? We have our thermos, Stanley Ooh. thermos. This item kind of came in very randomly. We did not have it first time when we went camping, but we Made one of those trips to uh, Walmart actually because we were just looking. I don't remember what we we're looking for, but I came across this and I'm a big hot tea drinker, so is Reza all of our family really. So I was like, hmm, well, let me try it out because back in the day, my dad used to go, I emerged from Ukraine, so it gets really cold in winter. And we used to have nice thermoses when we would go out and do like stuff and be outdoors in the winter. And I was like, if I can find one just like my dad had that will keep the heat for a long time, that'd be great. So I bought that. This was a $20 item. And um. had a Walmart, yes. Had great reviews. They have different sizes. They have a smaller, uh, a little bit smaller size, but it's a little bit more wider. So it's like if you want to use for soups mm -hmm. or chilies and stuff like that. So this is amazing. This is one of my favorite things that we bought. This held our hot tea for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. After 24 hours, it comes out warm. But now when I make our tea in the morning around 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, at 9 o'clock at night, this thing is still super hot and steaming. Mm -hmm. And if you don't drink it, like the next day, it still comes out pretty warm. So this is definitely worth it. It's not expensive. This part is a, actually doubles as a cup as well. And uh, yeah definitely holds the heat definitely works and worth twenty dollars i was very impressed by this thing yes all right so moving on to the list of things that we have that are great so, gifts for that camper person in your life if you want to make tea or coffee or whatever that might be you might want to have some water with you on your camping trip 
And after thorough research, we actually made a separate video on this and we actually are doing the giveaway. So it's, I think it's not too late still to enter it. I think time. people can still try to get in on it. Yes. Giveaway. So this is the water bottle that we have found. Well, Reza actually have found after proper research. Mm -hmm. This is 2.6 lead gallons, gallons. 2.6 gallons 2.6 gallons of water cube mm -hmm. with a proper nozzle and then uh it comes with another attachment if you want to have a hose i don't remember all the details like how this structured because i know they have different ones but okay. i know this is very durable yes this is very, very durable it's a, a two-ply material that mm -hmm. they made this out of and it's actually four pieces of uh, plastic laminated together to make each ply of uh whatever of material yeah. these things are extremely durable if you ever look up wolverine bag destruction test a few videos will come up and you will see people put these things through the ringer and they do not leak they do not break they do not burst Unless you do something like so extremely unreasonable, like running over with the truck or something. Yes. And even then, it can still not leak. Like, it, it, these things are phenomenal. I contacted the company. This is called uh, SmartBottleIncorporated.com. Local company. Uh, not local, but close to us. They're mm -hmm. in South Carolina. Made in the USA. Um, and the price is amazing. Very this thing is $13. Price. $13. And... If you're a person who's had a lot of experience with jerry cans, you know that jerry cans can be heavy, hard to maneuver, and hard to store, and very hard to clean. Mm -hmm. This is none of those. This is the best water solution I've come across since we started camping. The only problem I have with it is that it's not tactical. Womp, womp, womp. Doesn't look super fashionable, but it has so many functionalities because this last camping trip, or the previous one we did, we actually hung this upside down for the first time. And we were using it that way and it was so much easier and yeah this is i mean you're not gonna hang jerry can upside down nope so moving on this thing is awesome this is one of my favorite things yes. what's next on the list so then we have this oh so this right here uh boys and girls is amazing so if you're going to be doing any quote-unquote off-grid camping <laughs> um Eventually, you're going to have to use, need to use the bathroom. Eventually, you might need to chop something. You might need to cut something. You might need to protect yourself. You might need to build a shelter. Yes. There's a lot of things that you might need to do I mean, when, you're you're, the woods, yeah, you know? when you're completely Never out know. there on your own and you don't have utilities and you don't have any shelter you know, put in place. So this right here is the one tool that might be able to help you do all of that. It is the cold steel. Uh, I think they call it the Spitznats. Spitznats? Uh, Spitznuts? Spitznuts, yeah. Oh, okay. Spitznuts shovel. And there's a little bit of rust on the end because it was really, really raining when we were out just uh, yesterday. And I guess I didn't get all the rain outside of the, um, um, out of the, okay. um, the, the bag. But anyway, this shovel is, I mean, I'll put the stats or the description in the description, all the specific, yeah, all the specifications for this shovel in the description because there's a lot to talk yes. about as far as the hardness of the steel and what kind of steel this is. But it's good for throwing, it's good for chopping, it's good for cutting. This thing is razor sharp. You can cut right through paper mm -hmm. with it. Um, it's good to, as a latrine tool if you need to uh, dig, dig, out a, hole. Yeah, dig a cat hole or whatever so you can use the restroom. And these things are super durable. They have amazing reviews all over the internet if you um, go and look up Cold Steel Spitznatch uh, Shovel. And as you can see, we have used ours a lot. And this thing can just take a beating. I actually chopped a tree I was the other say, day. Actually, <laughs> the other time, he literally chopped the tree with it. And it was a yeah. good sized tree. It was probably about five, six inches in diameter. Yeah. And it took him a second. It wasn't like with the axe where, you know, you do it yeah. a couple of times. But it did cut very it well. Right and nothing it. happened to this. Nothing I was like, it was very it. impressive. Edge wasn't damaged, none of that. So this thing is amazing. And he uh, threw this in the Treats. Yes, and I used it for actual throwing once and it actually like stuck. Now, stuck there, there are people who are good throwers that can throw this thing and make it stick every time, but I'm not the best axe thrower yet or shovel thrower. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so this thing is awesome. The cost of this is... $32. $32, yes. So it is an amazing deal for a great shovel that once you buy it one time, you'll never need to buy another Oh, and before shovel. that, the reason why we even ended up with this is because... 
first we had another shovel, one of those foldable ones. Mm -hmm. And the first Terrible. try, first time we tried to use it, it bent. Yeah. We didn't even get a chance to use it. So after that, the research came and that's how this came into play. I, I was just trying to dig a little shallow hole and I, I literally put force on it to dig a hole in the, just it bent right, right there. Right. It was one of those foldable tactical shovels, but this thing, rigid, strong, tough, Durable, compact, you can throw it into a bin. I mean, this is just an amazing shovel. And it comes with a little case like this. Which is even better. Just make sure you dry it before you put it in there, unlike I did. <laughs> All right, so what is next on our list of great travel so presents for that camping person? So this is probably, apart from like buying an actual rooftop tent, which is a, our major purchase for the year and the thing that we enjoyed the most so far, this is probably the second best purchase we've made. We debated on it for a minute because it isn't cheap cheap item. And we kind of like, well, do we really need it? Because can we just live without it? And we did for a minute, but then we decided to go ahead and try it. And we absolutely love it. And it is Solo Stove. There's a multiple yeah. sizes. The Solo Stove manufactures this size called Ranger. So this is actual like the smallest, I don't think this is the smallest, I think this is medium size for a campfire. And we bought this on sale. Right now it is on sale for $190. It is on back stock, so if you guys decide to do last minute gift, I think the solo stove gave you option to send like a card to the person you bought it for so they know it's on the way. Or just print out the invoice. Yes, because the regular price is actually $270. So this is an amazing item. You want to talk about how it's built and why it's so good? Okay, so the reason why I was even looking at getting this thing is the last uh, a few trips back, I was so tired of coming back and everything just being overwhelmingly drenched with camp smoke smell. Yeah. I mean, the vehicle was smelling like smoke. All of our clothes were smelling like smoke. All of our gear, like everything literally smelled like uh, smoked bacon. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, there has to be some kind of something we can do about this. Because we took one of our pieces and we sat it on the roof and let it like air out for like seven days and, and it still, still smelled, smelled like smoke. But because we, we camp in the fall, so it gets colder. So we try yeah. to get closer and closer to the fire, and there's no way escaping that. Yeah. So I started looking around on the Google machine, and I was like, man, is there some kind of way to not smell like smoke when you're camping? And I stumbled upon a smokeless fire pit called the Solo Stove. Wow. Who would have ever thought of that? And Kat had seen these before. I have never really seen them. So I was kind of really excited when I um, found out about this thing. And um, we, after some debate and deliberation, we were like, uh, should we pull the trigger on this thing? Because it was, it's just, it's a massive investment. But when I tell you the first night that we used it, I was so impressed with it. I just can, I can't imagine going camping without it now because a few different things. And I hope this doesn't get long winded, but it's mobile. Number one, this thing is a fire pit that you can take almost anywhere you want to go. This is the Ranger. It's 15 inches in diameter. It fits perfectly in our rig. We can, you can put stuff in it when you're packing, and then when you get to wherever you're going, you can take that stuff out, like firewood and stuff like that, whatever flammable things you want to throw in there. Um, comes with this bag. Comes with a bag. Storage bag, yeah. The, the storage bag is very Carry burly bag, yep. and like very strong. And you can also use it to cook when you get to your um, said campground and it just burns wood so phenomenally now if it depends on the type of quality wood that you have if you have wood that's subpar this thing will smoke a little bit it won't be completely smokeless mm -hmm. but if you're using good quality dry wood this thing will make an insane amount of heat mm -hmm. and burn so clean you won't even smell smoke so you know that whole thing when you're sitting around the campfire and the wind like and changes around and then time. all the smoke comes in your face don't have to worry about that with yeah. the solo stove. It's amazing. And like I was saying before, you can also cook on this thing. And because, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. And because the fire is so concentrated and the heat is so concentrated, it makes cooking and lighting a fire and maintaining a fire so ridiculously easy that anybody can do it. Yes. What I was going to say is not only that it doesn't have smoke, it actually burns wood a lot longer. It takes a lot longer to burn 
a nice log in here versus you would mm -hmm. burn it on a just a regular you know campfire yeah because we set two we had two fires together and we had a fire that was on the ground in a traditional fire pit and then we had this and we had to put way less fuel in this to keep this thing going versus a traditional campfire. And speaking of fuel, you don't have to buy any fuel when you have this thing mm -hmm. because the fuel is everywhere around you. All you got to do is find a down tree or bring some firewood with you and throw it in and boom, you have an amazing warm campfire. And we used this thing the other night and it was 20 degrees outside yes. and it still kept us very, very warm and very toasty um, majority of the night. So yeah, and then like I said, there's different sizes, so it just depends what fits your budget or what fits your needs. This one, we cooked on it. It doesn't come with like a grate and stuff. What we did, we just went and got one of those um, replacement grates for one of the um, coal fires, you know what I mean? They use this charcoal, and I just set it on top, and it is perfect. Also, I bought another piece for it, which comes separately, and I think it was $40. So this is a stand for it. You can put this underneath it and that gives you ability not only use this somewhere in the woods or somewhere where you can set it on ground that isn't heat sensitive. You can put it on your deck, on your balcony, wherever you can think of because this piece helps you, you know, eliminate that whole um, heating of what I'm trying to say? The outside of it being hot? Yeah, so it's like, you know, because we have some services where we can't use this because it is kind of plasticky. But with this piece, it gives you that ability. So you can use it for multiple purposes, not only for your camping. Mm -hmm. you use it for the home, yeah, the you office, have your campfire, the pool, the you, beach, mm -hmm. a lot of different places you can use yes. this thing. And it is definitely worth the money. It was literally, I think this might be single-handedly the best purchase that we've made as we have started this whole thing of camping. I just cannot over, uh, over explain how awesome the Solo stove is. And it comes in different sizes, Ranger, the big one, the small one, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can't think of anything else to say about this Because we used to uh, bring our Coleman grill, not the grill, but Coleman uh, stove, the propane stove. Yeah. We don't even take it with us yeah. anymore. We, had a, we this, have a Coleman, a jet boil, and regular fire. Yeah, so <laughs> this works amazingly. Yes, it does. And uh, yeah, I guess that's everything that we have to say about the solo stove. If you get a solo stove as a gift for the holidays, oh I'm jealous of you. Because You're these lucky. things are the... Yeah, I was going to say profanity. But we are <laughs> yes. KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I hope our list helps you pick out some cool things for that camping or outdoors person in your life. Yes. So you can get them something that's awesome or that they're going to appreciate. Or for yourself. Oh, there's even These that. These are good items to have for sure. For sure. Test it out by us. <laughs> yep. All right, y'all. We are out of here. Peace.